Hello, sir. I'm very sorry. My condolences. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are they home? Yeah, they're at home. They're inside. Oh, welcome, Mr. Mason. Come on in. We were very sorry to hear the news. Our condolences. May God grant patience to you and your dear mother. Are Mrs. Layla and the family inside? Yes, come in, please. Yes. You're tricking me. You are really my aunt. No, sweetie, I'm your auntie's sister. Then why are you the same? Because she's my twin. What does twin mean? Mm -hmm. Mr. Mason. I have been asking about you, Mr. Mason. I was getting news from Mr. Ertle. They said you were sedated and that they would let me know when they woke you up, but uh, you, you acted faster than I did. Please forgive me. Please, Miss Layla, it's not important. I really don't know how to say this. God, I'm really sorry. My condolences. My condolences. Thank you. I hope you feel better. I heard your life was in danger. It was. But you're doing better now, right? When did they finally release you? Actually, they didn't. I escaped. You escaped? Are you serious? Kareem, my dear, you know Mr. Mason, don't you? He saved your life, my son. No, oh, no, ma'am. I didn't do anything. No, Mr. Mason, we are truly grateful. Thank you so much. you feel better soon. Mom, look at the state he's in. It's all their fault, you know that? Uh, don't say that, Kenny. Well, it's true, Mom. They may all be happy now, but he's still in bad condition. Don't you remember the first day he came to the house, Mom? Well, look at him now. He's a complete wreck, man. It's not easy, son. It was his sister. May God keep everyone from pain like this. Here you go, Mr. Mason. Thank you, Alma. Did you want anything else, Mr. Mason? Are you hungry at all? No, thank you very much. I never introduced you to Sally, did I, Mr. Mason? Uh, Sally is Daphne's sister, Daphne's twin. Good to meet you. Mrs. Layla, I need to talk to you about a matter if you're free. Can we go to another room, please? Uh, of course, of course. Right this way. Look, this is my twin. Oh, really? She's so pretty. Just like you. What's up? I 
was going to ask you a few things, but, um, but first, first, let me ask you this. Did Kareem ever tell you anything about his uncle? No, he hasn't. Why? Is there something he should have said? I mean, anything. I don't know. No, he hasn't told us anything. He hasn't spoken very much since he got back. Has he ever been left alone with his uncle? Today is the first time his uncle has even seen him. Am I right, dear? Yes, but he did call on the phone the other day. That's enough flour. And sugar? Where's the cinnamon, Alma? I'll get it. Oh, oh yes. Miss Layla, I wish you wouldn't bother. I will take care but of these it. These are Kareem's favorite cookies. Of course I want to make oh, them. Oh, sweetie, your brother couldn't say cinnamon when he was small, so he used to say, I want some cinnamon cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Praise our God in heaven because he has gotten back home safely. Yes, Alma, that's right, thank God. I don't want that. I want chocolate. These are for your brother. Hello? Yes, Mr. Michael? Uh, Mrs. Layla is a little busy, but let me just ask her. Uh, uh, Kareem is still asleep, but let me see if he has woken up yet, sir. Are you awake? Your uncle wants to speak to you. Are you feeling up to it? Here you go. Hello, uncle? Hello. Welcome home. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Jasmine, stop eating all of those. There'll be none left to put in the cookies. Then Kenny will just get some more. Oh, so I see you have an answer for everything, don't you? Who called? Mr. Michael. He wanted to talk to Kareem. He called for Kareem? Yes, he did. Honey, you finished all the chocolate, my girl. Now what will we put in the cookies? Grim son, uh, I will come and see you as soon as possible. We really need to sit and have a chat man to man, you know? <clears throat> uh, look, I need to ask a favor. Um, don't say anything to anyone until I talk to you, okay? I'll tell you everything soon enough. Okay, Kareem? Talk to you later. Okay, then. Kareem, dear, what did your uncle want? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, he asked if I was okay. He said he was glad. He wants to meet up as soon as possible. Ah. Kareem? Is there anything that you would like to tell me? Like what? I don't know. Something about your uncle, perhaps? No, what could I tell you? Look, I'm going to tell you something. I don't want you to be unhappy in any way ever again. You will tell me everything. You're not going to keep anything from me. You must not worry that it may upset me, okay? You can't hold it in. You have to tell me everything. Is that a deal? It's a deal. That's great. My good boy. Are you going to continue being lazy? I will sleep a little bit more, then I'll get up. <laughs> Look at me, Mr. Mason. Kareem would tell me if anything were happening. I'm sure of it. Uh, is there something that you know? 
I don't exactly know it for sure. What is that supposed to mean? It means that we don't need to talk about it right now. But when Kareem finally pulls himself together, I'm going to need to talk to him. There may be a few things that he wants to tell us. All right, okay. And now, let's get to the matter of Aaron. They haven't found anything, have they? No. That madman is going to hurt her too. The moment we think all this is over, it begins again and again. It just doesn't end. This thing won't be over till Fike is found. He's very uh, dangerous. He's quite a dangerous man. Aaron is with him at the moment, and I need to find her as soon as possible. That's what I'm going to do. I have to ask you to help me. And how can we help you, Mr. Mason? First of all, I want you to tell me everything you know about Aaron and Aldo. Whatever you know. I only saw him that one time, and I told Mr. Ertl because I recognized the picture immediately. You saw him? When was that? Uh, it was a few years ago, I think. I was in a cafe and he approached me. He said he wanted to talk about Aaron. We talked about Aaron for a little bit. He told me he used to be her fiancé. He really convinced me that he loved her. I believed him. Because, you know, his eyes and the way he carried himself, he was like a man in love. I never thought he would turn out to be such a bad person at all. Okay. Well, did Aaron love that guy? I don't think so. She never talked about him, and when I asked, she would she'd just say... She said what? She said she wished she'd never met him. She said she kept falling in love with the wrong men. And she never mentioned him again. It was as if she had closed the subject and ended the relationship. But clearly this man hadn't forgotten about her. What I don't understand is why he made us the enemy. His problem with Aaron is clear, but what did he want from us? I think Mr. Gerald can explain this to us. Yes, Mr. Gerald? What does this man want from you? Where does the problem stem from? <laughs> 